Zephyr 7B is here to bring a new standard for open source large language models. Fine tuned on Mistral, which is also a new pre trained model, Zephyr performs better than most, if not all, 13 billion alternatives. New fine tunes are also coming out every day, each scoring better and better. Since Mistral itself doesn't have a strong alignment, the fine tunes are smarter and potentially more dangerous. It's genuinely insane how coherent and impressive this model is for its size. Even older 65 billion Llama models are now behind the Mistral fine tunes on the leaderboard. Of course, the benchmarks aren't end all be all, but at least they establish a rough baseline to compare stuff. It's exciting to see how these breakthroughs happen every other month. Open source is truly fascinating. If you think about it, it probably took years for OpenAI to create ChatGPT, but now we are closer and closer to ChatGPT levels of artificial intelligence. Well, without all the guardrails and alignments, I hope. Okay, that's enough talk. Let's visit the blog. Let's expand the models. And look for the Zephyr. Well, I'm just gonna do this. Of course, I'm again going to use the GGF. I have no idea why people use 4-bit GPTQ. Yes, there are 8-bit alternatives also. Um, but still, if you wanna run this on your RAM, you should use GGF. Let's go to files and versions. Uh, since I have enough RAM and VRAM, I'm just going to download the biggest available. If you have, um, let's say, an 8-gig card like RTX 360, you can download the Q Q6, uh, this will work. Or let's say you don't want to run it on your um, GPU or you don't have one, then you can download whatever you want and run on OpenBLESS, which is possible using UBA or Cobalt. I already moved the model to my UBA directory. Let's go to modules, select one here and we are going to select Zephyr 7V Alpha. For context size, I don't want to use 32K because it's just way too much and, and it uses too much uh, VRAM, so let's keep this at 8K. This model has 35 layers, if I'm not mistaken, so I'm going to just load everything on my GPU. Not going to touch anything else, and let's load. As you can see, it's almost using 9000 megabytes of VRAM. This is model itself and plus context. Now let's go back to parameters. Here, we are going to use a specific instruction template. If you don't, the model will not work properly, so let's go here and select chat ML. This is also documented on Zephyr's model card. They are using a variant of chat ML. So this is um, not exactly the same, I think, but it should be fine. Let's go to generation and I'm going to use simple one. Uh, some people say that they get better outputs when they use lower temperature. I think Mirostat works really well with this model. Uh, actually, I'm going to use Mirostat. Let's go to 2 and I'm going to leave the toe at 5. Then I'm going to just increase the max token to 768. And let's fucking ask it some questions, right? If the Earth were to stop suddenly, it would cause catastrophic consequences. Firstly, all living beings on the planet would be thrown forward due to inertia and collide with whatever surface they are on or nearby objects. This impact could lead to serious injuries or fatalities. Secondly, any object not securely fastened to the Earth's surface, like buildings, vehicles, etc., would continue moving at its original speed until it collided with another object or came to a halt due to friction which may cause additional damage and injury. Thirdly, all of the planet systems that rely on motion like water currents, earthquakes, tides and climate would be disrupted as everything comes to an instant stop. This could lead to droughts, floods and other catastrophic weather events. Finally, if there were no external forces acting upon the Earth, like gravity or centrifugal force, it is likely that the planet's magnetic field would collapse which could have far-reaching consequences for space travel, communication systems, and navigation. In summary, a sudden stop of the Earth would cause catastrophic effects on all living beings, infrastructure, and ecosystems on our planet. Wow, that's pretty much like a chat GPT answer. And I tried to find some interesting, maybe some hypothetical, maybe a bit silly questions to ask because the benchmark results are already there. I don't want to ask the same benchmark questions or some really simple stuff. I want to see how creative the models are and this sounds extremely creative and extremely coherent.
The town of Hollowbrook was known for its picturesque views, peaceful residence, and delectable cheesecake. But what lurked beneath the surface would send chills down your spine. For years, rumors had circulated about a secret cheese cult that operated in the shadows. Those who dared to question their practices were met with threats of retribution. But when a group of curious teenagers stumbled upon their meeting place deep in the woods, they realized too late what horrors lay ahead. The room was filled with flickering candles and the smell of aged cheese. The cultists, dressed in white robes, chanted in unison as they passed around a platter of glowing orbs. The teenagers watched in horror as one member consumed an entire orb in one gulp. Suddenly, screams echoed through the room as those who had partaken began to transform into grotesque cheese monsters. Their skin turned yellow and wrinkled like aged cheddar. Their eyes glowed with a sinister light, and their tongues became elongated and stretchy. The teenagers tried to run, but they were surrounded by the cultists who had now become fully transformed. They cornered them in a room filled with barrels of curdling cheese. The floor beneath began to shift as the ground turned into a sea of molten cheese. In a final act of desperation, one of the teenagers grabbed a block of cheese and hurled it at the cult leader. It shattered his head like glass and sent him tumbling into a vat of curdling cheese. The cultists retreated in terror as the room erupted in flames. The town of Hollowbrook would never be the same again, for the infamous cheese cult had been vanquished. But the memory of their horrific transformation lingered on like the scent of aged parmesan. Like holy fuck. Look at this last line. But the memory of their horrific transformation lingered on like the scent of aged parmesan. I could never write something like this. And this is so cheesy, I love it. I urge you to try this on ChatGPT or any other model that you like. Maybe some local LLM, maybe Claude, maybe GPT-4. And compare the results. I think this is hilariously good. I still can't believe that they managed to create such a model at 7 billion parameters. I hope they make something for 14 billion and 30 billion. For now, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm still figuring out some stuff. I'm still figuring out how to make a video. But if this was helpful to you, please leave a like. And don't hesitate to leave a comment if you have any questions. Bye. Thank you for watching our latest video featuring the incredible language model Zephyr. We hope that this technology will continue to transform and enhance our daily lives. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel for more exciting content like this. And if you have any feedback or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you again for watching.